Wow, React Next. After one year, we are back. Thank you, everyone, that you choose to join me to this uh, light talk. This is my first talk. I was a speaker here in React Next. Uh, so excuse me about my excited. Let's talk about performance. When we know that we have performance issue in our site, actually, we don't. We don't feel it uh, till our animation frame will be less than 16 frames per second, or the animation is junk. OK. OK. If we have performance issue, why is it so important to us? First of all, let's talk about how performance issues measured in the past and how performance issues measured in this in, in current days. In the past, Google measured performance. They check when the DOM is loaded. But in the last few years, they present us the Google performance metric. They talk about when the user have interaction is in our page. But still, why it's so matter to us if the main thread is blocked or not? It's very simple. When the main thread is blocked, you lose money. Did you know that more than 87% of your users will abandon your site after three seconds if the site is not loaded? Did you know that even Google itself tried to load, load their site than a half of a second? OK, we know, now we know why this performance is so important, because we lost money and we lost engagement. How we can fix it? Everyone know in a regular app or in the past you can use the performance tools to see where is the main hit block, but did you familiar with the timing API? You can mark suspicious code that you may or may not block your main thread and check if it main the blocker thread. But this is regular app. We're here about to talk about React performance with a profiler. Let's introduce myself. My name is Yanai. I'm in Sync Team. Thank you. <laughs> I'm more than 16 years of development. I'm loving in web tech. I love the community. I'm writing time to time at Medium. I'm married and I have five kids, one of them a ninja, and oops, the dog is escaped again. And I'm developer in CyberArk and member of CyberArk Guild. Yeah. And Last and not least, I'm the founder of Negev Web Developer. If you don't hear about us, we are the biggest community in the south of the Israel. We have more than 1,200 members. We organize meetups, workshop, case study, and so on. Of course, everything is in volunteering. React. What is the main problem in React? The main problem in React is rendering. Too much rendering. Too much rendering causes performance issue. I don't have a lot of. Let's look a demo. Okay, you see, you see that? No. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. No. a second. Okay. Oh, shit. Ah, sorry. Okay. Let's talk about a profiler. A profiler API under the hood implement some phases of the profiler API that given us from React. If, as you can see here, the profiler API have some phases and the profiler, um, the profiler API, uh, tab can 
use it under the hood. Just a second. Bigger, yes, and we try. Mm. Okay, it's okay? Okay. Let's see in action. Here I have some count, uh, simple React with counter. You can see that, ignore the first, the first one. Let's look at uh, a counter. Every time I click on the counter, you see all the phases log into the console. Let's take a, look, uh, let's take a brief look at the profiler. This is the profiler API. You can show the rendering. Every column is rendered. You can see a flame chart or a ranked. And you can record your profiling. Or a nice tool is you can reload your app and start profiling. Let's click about the, let's click up once, stop it, and let's see what is rendering. You can see here the rendering time, but still we don't have useful, useful information why it's rendered. Another trick you can do is go to the cargo and check on the record why each component is rendered. Let's try it again. Click once, stop it, and let's look about it. You can see here why it's rendered because this is the first time the component is rendered. Okay, it's legit. Let's look about the second one. Oh, hook one change. And you can see every uh, chart here is a present component. Let's, look, let's, let, let's take a look at another application. Here I have initial data I'm making from an empty array. Every data have a state for active or not active. And I pass it to uh, the application. OK, the application get at a state. Uh, we have handle click that change the active state and pass it to a box component. The box component itself trigger the click and console log render box with the index and change the class name with if it's active or not active. Let's, took, let's take a look at the application. This is the application. Let's reload the application and start profiling. Stop profiling. Okay, as we, we say, the first time is reject. Every, it, every component is the first time is rendered. Let's look at another, the second column. We see here 15 rendering twice. Okay, we see all the components that render twice. Let's take a look. Okay, probe change, active, and on click. Okay, let's try to memorize the box. Okay. And save it. Let's try it again. Click. Stop profiling. Okay, we can see a little bit perform improving performance, but still we have the on click change. Mm. Okay, the on click is coming from here. Let's try to use this callback. And we want this to run only in the first time, so we give it empty dependencies. And let's try it again. OK, stop. OK. OK, and good news. I see here only one render here. here. Let's look about it. OK, only one component is rendered. OK, we have some solution that React provides us. We have use memo. We have use callback and memo. Memo, if you're familiar with React a component with classes, implement under the hood should component update. I want to suggest you another great NPM package that maintenance from some guys here from Israel. Why did you render? This NPM package gives you a lot more information why the component is rendered. You can try it. React basically is list. Everything is list. List of user, list of movie, list of to-dos, list that you need to, go to show in your table, in your chart, in your graph. Okay, we can take some up another approach with list. We can lazy load in the list. Bring it piece by piece. 
we, we can visualize the list. We can show the user only what he needs to know to show and, and to see, and a, bit, a buffer above and beyond. And we also can take heavy CPU task to the web workers. And another very nice approach is offline canvas. If you're not familiar with that, I want to show you some example. Here I have two canvas running on the same page. One of them is rendering in the application itself, and one if the, if the second canvas is rendered with the web worker. Look what happened when I block in the thread. The canvas will run on the worker, keep going, and the canvas on the main thread is blocked. Think. Although React performance is very important, if you don't want performance issue, don't write a book code. Not everything is magic. We need to, everything we do, we have, there, there is a trade-off. If you use a lot of use memo, or use callback, or memoize, this action also take a bite from your memory, and they cause also a performance issue. So, although performance is very important to deal with, think if it's really in, worth it. If it's not, let it go. Thank you to join me.